guys, welcome back to our challenge. Today is a core workout and Rigatoni and all of us are going to go through modifications and alternatives for all the moves in today's challenge. <laughs> and if you haven't joined us, if this is your first video or you haven't jumped in yet, it is not too late. Just head to the description box below where I have all the details of what this challenge is all about and a promo code for you to get one month free to the Fit Body app. Alrighty, are you guys ready? Rigatoni is ready. Actually, he is in my spot, so I'm gonna have to have you move. Ready? <gasps> Go get it. All right. <laughs> okay, so move number one is going to be a frog jump. So you're gonna go down into a squat, use your arms to propel you, so swing them back, and then you're going to land in a squat, really important, um, and then you're just going to shuffle back. All right, you can honestly step back. Really, the whole point is just to get you back from point B to point A. All right, so squat down, land softly, and then shuffle back. So for an alternative for this move, I want you to get your heart rate up. So while one option would be to just like squat forward to that from point A to point B, that's not actually going to achieve the same thing as what the jump is going to because I want you to get your heart rate up. So instead, you can just run in place or you can do jumping jacks or anything that is gonna get your heart rate up. So I will leave that modification or alternative up to you. Now for move number two, we're gonna go down onto the ground and we are going to do single leg lowering, which you guys should be pretty familiar with. But if you are new, you are going to lay on your back and you want your back flat to the ground. So don't let your, your back arch. And then you're going to lower one leg at a time, then lower the other one and back up. All right, and then I do want you to keep your knees as straight as possible. A lot of us have sore hamstrings from our legs and glutes workout. So um, if you can't straighten them all the way, or if you just have tight hamstrings, that's okay. But do try to keep them as straight as you can. All right, so lower one, lower the other, back up and back up. And just be sure, again, that your back is flat and you're really engaging your core. So an alternative for this move is instead of having your legs completely straight, we're gonna bend them, okay? And you want your legs to be in a 90 degree angle and they're just gonna lower one, then lower the other, then bring one up and the other. If it's too much for you to eventually have them both down at the same time, what you can do is lower one and then bring it back up, lower the other and bring it back up. Alrighty, so that is it for move number two. Now for move number three, we're gonna stay on the ground, but you're going to put your feet together and you're not gonna let your legs drop all the way down to the ground. You're gonna kinda have them up at an angle like this, back flat to the ground, and then you're going to crunch up and this is going to be a frog sit up, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult since you don't have your feet planted into the ground. They're together like this. And just raise your shoulder blades up off the ground and back down. Exhale when you come up, inhale when you come down. So the alternative to the frog sit up is you're just gonna have your feet planted on the ground. And then I want your hands to be out to the side of your head you do not want to put your hands behind your neck. That's a really common error um, with any sit up or crunch like move because what happens is if you just pull on your neck, you're, you're only pulling on your neck. You're not engaging your core. So hands out to the side. I don't even want you to touch your head and then just raise your shoulder blades up off of the ground and then lower them. So it's a really minor movement um, and just be sure that you're feeling your core. Inhale as you go down exhale as you go up. All right, now for move number four, we're gonna do cross mountain climbers. So you are going to be in a high plank position, put your hands directly beneath your shoulder, and you can go on your fists if it hurts your wrists at all. And instead of doing mountain climbers where you drive your knee up to your chest, you're gonna be bringing this knee up to this elbow. Keep your body in a straight line. Just like that, go back to a high plank. Just like that. All right, so each time that you bring that knee up, just be sure that you are returning to a high plank position where your body is in a straight line so that your core is engaged. 
The alternative for that is going to be an incline variation. So for the modification, you want a platform and this will make it a little bit easier. Be sure your body's in a straight line and just bring that knee up to the opposite elbow. And that is about it for move number four. Moving on to move number five, we have jump turns. So let me get the platform out of the way. Move number five is a jump turn. So just like with the frog jump, you want to start in a squat position. Be sure that your chest is up. Use your arms to propel you and do a 180. All right, it's really important to, when you're turning to one side, to also turn to the opposite side because again, you don't only wanna be working your muscles on this side of your body, you also wanna be working them and for your coordination on the opposite side. And it's totally normal for one side to be more coordinated. For me, it's turning to the left. Turning to the right, not so much. So it's totally normal, but also it's why it's really important to work on both sides. So 30 seconds to one side and then 30 seconds to the other. All right, now for a modification. Again, we could just have you do like a pivot squat you know, to the opposite side and go in circles, but that's not really going to achieve what the squat jump turn is intended to achieve, which is to get your heart rate up. So an alternative would be anything that gets your heart rate up. In this case, since it does involve a squat, I want you to do squat jumps. You're gonna squat down and then jump up. And if you want a low impact version, you can squat down and just go up on your toes and then go back down but I really do want you to do something that is gonna get your heart rate up. So whether it is a squat jump or just running in place, <laughs> I will leave that decision up to you. All right, guys, you are all set to crush today's challenge. Head to the Fit Body app to complete it for the day. And I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great Sunday.